Oh, I think so, too. Oh, I'm glad I'm really not the only one. <laughs> I agree with both of you. I think uh, the problem with the with the new genre is that they people usually don't have lives that are that filled with drama every moment, and they have to force it. They have to put people together in situations that are going to be difficult. It's going to be artificial. It doesn't come out of anything that's natural, and I think a lot of the times we see the people involved getting caught up in it and losing their sense of who they are and thinking, oh, I'm a big star now and I'm very important, and that changes who they are and how they behave, and it, and you find the audience pulling away from that. Yeah, yeah I, I agree, Denise. I think it, it could take advantage of people, uh, you know, for the sake of ratings, um, if not... Like, it's a little bit like going back to the Roman Colosseum. Yeah. Uh, I find the whole thing very distasteful, and I'll be the first to say it, very distasteful. I agree. Well, thank you, Michael, so much for calling in. I, I want to give both of you an opportunity since, obviously, there are so many people who want to be able to get through but won't be able to uh, fit into this hour. We'll start off with Jeannie. Do you have a message that you'd like to share with your fans? I just want to tell them that I love them, and I love them for supporting me through this career um, that that uh, has given me so much joy, and and that I it's only because of them and their uh, support of me that I can continue to do something, which I believe is the only thing I do well. I think God gave me one gift, <laughs> and and I really think that that this is it. So. Uh, I'm just grateful to each and every one of them for continuing to tune in and support me. And Denise, we'll turn it over to you. Goodness, I just love her. She's just wonderful. Um, <laughs> I love you. You're wonderful. Um, she's very, I know what she means. Yes, the one thing I do really well, I would agree. But Jeannie is an extraordinary mother. And her shop that she talked about, you have to take a look at that, the artistry of that and the beauty of it and her intelligence and her growth as a person and all of that. There's a lot more going on there than just being a wonderful actor, but she is an extraordinary and fantastic actor, and I know exactly what she means. I would also uh, love to say to the fans who have in such strength come back into my life, I'm not, well, I am, I'm pretty, but I'm not, I'm, I don't have a venue other than that. I've moved a little away from the thing I loved so much and to find that they are still there, still loving us is, um, is such a richness and such a beautiful gift of love. And I would like to say to every single one of you, I thank you and love you back. And are there, for either of you, are there other projects that fans can check you out in? Uh, are there any uh, causes or any charities that you might want to uh, raise awareness of that the fans should know about? Um, well, for me, the fans should know that um, I've got another Hallmark movie coming out. It's the third sequel to The Note. I'm not sure what they're titling this one, but it's, I think it's meant to be a Mother's Day movie. So my, my fans can look forward to that. And other than that, please just tune in to YNR and check us out because um, it's starting to get really good. <laughs> and I will say, if you haven't seen Pretty, do take a look at it. It is truly bizarre, and it is outrageous humor. Um, Stephen calls it a mockumentary. Um, there's the most delicious episode on right now that involves a... Um, um, mobile home, and uh, it, it just gets better all the time. And, um, oh, I just came to a screeching halt there because I was remembering a scene I loved. Um, oh, spay and neuter your pets. Please make adoption your first option rather than going and buying an animal. There are far too many beautiful, beautiful creatures being killed Nobody wants to do that, but there isn't enough room for all of them. So if you want to open your heart to a pet or six, um, look around at the shelters, look around at the wonderful rescue groups in your area. 
Jeannie Francis and Denise Alexander, I want to thank you both so much for taking time out to be here today to talk about all things soap, to talking about uh, pretty. It's meant so much to me and certainly to all the folks who are listening. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We had a wonderful time. <laughs> yes. Thank you for the invitation. Absolutely. And for folks out there, if you would like to check out Pretty, you can go to prettytheseries.com and check out episodes. Or as they said, there are three episodes of this third season. There are also two previous seasons that you can check out at your leisure, get caught up. It's a lot of fun. It's absolutely uh, just as we were saying, it's, it's craziness, but in a great way. Of course, The Young and the Restless airs weekdays on CBS. Check your, check your local listings for the time and channel in your area. 